<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Remember, Remember. I have no idea what this game is about. I just know that it is a choice type of game. And to be honest, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> but this looked good enough to play. So let's find out. Uh, let's see what the options is. Game settings. Skip function. Scene. Okay. Your choice. Stop. Text speed. Okay. Video settings. We'll do windows. Maze animation? Oh god, we gotta go through a maze. I hope there's no jump scares. Oh my god. I need to turn down my sound. Oh my god, this is... Alright. Here we go. Let's see what this is about. Don't go out too far, you two! I won't. Watch over her, Chris! Yeah, I know. Come on, let's go! Hey, wait up! Where am I? What the... Where am I? What's going on? I don't even know. Why does it smell like bleach in here? Wasn't I supposed to be on my way to the graduation venue? Wait, that's right. Nope. The car's not going anywhere. We're stranded. Okay. Nice job on leaving the tank empty, dude. Now how are we gonna get there? Uh, I don't know. Push it? Something's wrong. I know I filled it up yesterday. I have the receipt and everything. Okay. Did you do anything else yesterday? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? No! I gassed it up before I went home! Mm -hmm. That's what Guys, they all say. we can just walk there. It's not like it's raining. Uh, that's what you say now. That's a 30 minute walk! We'd be late! Eh? It's better than not being there at all. I don't know, I'd rather not walk. It's not like we have a choice in the matter. No, you, you could decide not to walk. Yeah. Let's just speed walk or something. Or speed walk or something. Huh? Hey, you guys need a lift to the venue? I'm on my way there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yes! You are a lifesaver! Huh? Who are you? <laughs> really? Chem major. Don't even worry about it. Come on! I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. I got room, I promise. Hop in. You can walk if you want. I'm getting in the van. Me too! Wait up! Well, it's better than being late. Chris, you coming? That guy, he drove all of us. But then why am I here? Damn it. Oh shit, what about the others? Rosa! Lisa! Peter! Xavier! Gotta find them. This place is huge. Is this some kind of med medical facility? Everything looks clean and sterile. What kind of person owns this place? This is all sorts of messed up. What's with this giant TV? Huh? An elevated console? Looks like it's on. What is this, a game? It's like a kid's drawing or something. Oh, how? Watch out. I'm going to catch you. How about we don't? What is this? I don't know, but I'd rather not. Rawr. The monster's going to eat you and your friends. Um You can't eat them if I protect them with a the magical flower crown. I guess I have to take these flowers to the toys. I guess so. But how about we don't? Oh shit! <laughs> ah, I have no flowers to protect me! Obviously. Got you! 
Really? Ah, I have no flowers to protect me! Watch your flower crown. <laughs> Rude. No! What is this? Why am I doing this? Why do I gotta do this? Brother! Where did you go? Uh, I don't know. I gotta go find brother now? Oh fuck, please don't let there be a jump scare. Huh? What's that? I don't know, but I guess we're gonna go find out. I don't wanna know. Nope. Why does this nope. Me so much? Nope. No. 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 Yeah, that was extremely weird, wouldn't it, Chris? That's your name, right, Chris? What kind of game was that? Why is it even here? Why? I don't even know. I just. I don't even want. I don't even want to play this game right now. Fuck it. This whole situation makes no damn sense. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find the others. Huh? There are more rooms along the walls. Are the rest of them in the in the other rooms? Might as well pick one to check. Um, let's do this one. This room looks just like my. Holy shit! It's Lisa. Lisa. <sighs> Lisa, come on, wake up. Huh? Chris, where am I? I don't even know. Hey, are you all right? I think so. Uh... My head hurts. Mm-hmm. Shit. Sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault. Or is it? Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's good. Thank God Lisa's okay. Let's hope the others are too. Here. Let me help you stand. Thank you. Chris, where are we? Fuck if I know. I don't know. I just woke up in a room across the way. Across the way? Yeah. There's a massive room outside the door, and there are doors along this wall and the wall across from it. It's like we're in a bunker or something. Jeez. That's just freaky. Yeah, no, no. Everybody decided to get in the fucking van, didn't they? Oh, God. She's telling me. Wait, where are the others? Where's Xavier? I don't fucking know. I don't know that either. I just woke up a bit ago. Well, then, come on. We have to find them. Why? Let's just leave. Hey, Lisa, hold on. You just got up. Yeah, send me for fuck's sake. Go get some coffee. The sooner we find them, the better. I don't want to know. Huh? That's Xavier. That's what the name said. Let's go. Oh my god, Xavier! Glitched for life. That is what his shirt says. Okay. Chris, you're both okay. <laughs> we're just not gonna worry about Xavier. I guess. Yeah, we're fine. What happened? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What happened? We don't know. We just woke up. Uh, and Xavier went into a screaming glitch for life rampage. No, I just want this damn thing off. What is it? What thing? This thing. Oh. All of us have it. They all look like they've been welded onto us. But I have the only gold bracelet. I have that same bracelet! What is it? Whatever it is, I slammed it into the wall and it friggin' shocked the hell out of me. Glitched for life. It feels like it was welded on our wrists. It feels like it's made of steel. It wouldn't break if you hit it against anything, you idiot! Why did you even try to break it? Oh no. Shut the hell. Exactly, Xavier. I like you. <laughs> it won't come off! Come on! Hey, don't mess with it too much. I'd shock you too. Yeah, right. Uh, this is bullshit. Why are we here? I like Xavier. How the hell should we know? We were all drugged. Guys, now is not the time to go crazy. We need to put our heads together and figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. 
My girls seem really shaken by this. I don't blame them. Xavier just got electrocuted, but Peter's right. Um... Fuck. You know what? Fuck them bitches. Well, let's check on Xavier, because apparently nobody's asked him if he's okay. Hey, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, though. You're welcome. Because, you know, nobody else decided to check on him. I just... That's good. At least the shocks aren't fatal or entirely date. Oh my god. I checked on him for my own personal gain. Rude. That looked like a really bad shock, though. Meh. It's nothing. It's like those stupid shock collars you get for dares and shit. Yeah. Dares. How do you know about shock collars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you know about shock collars? I just know about them. All right. Everybody gonna side eye Xavier? Oh, I, I like Xavier even more now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Any ideas on where to start looking? Um... That's a stupid question. What do you mean? It's kind of obvious how we get out. Look over there. Jesus, that door is big. That's the biggest door in the world. That has to be the exit. Maybe. Then let's just go! Really, Rosa? Yes, be my guest to go right through the goddamn electrified fence. Rosa, look again. Thank you, Xavier. I like... Xavier's my dude. Oh crap, a laser grid? I barely noticed it. It is a giant door with a giant laser grid around it. How did you not notice it? Huh? Beep. That is a scary laser grid. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me that grid shocks us or something if we touch More than likely you die. Probably if it's meant to keep us in here. Yeah. Peter, go touch it. <laughs> yes, yes, Peter, go touch it. No, no, no. Go, go, go touch it. Xavier! <laughs> I really like Xavier. Never know what it does until you try it out. That's true. That's not funny! It's too dangerous to try! So how do we unlock it and make the grid disappear? Hmm. There are no visible keyholes and no card slots. We are trapped in here while the locks are either on the other side or are unlocked electronically. Mm -hmm. In other words, we are stuck here and are back to square one. This is way too fucked up. Mm -hmm. This is garbage! Who would do this to us? Probably that Kim Major that uh, put us in his van. The guy who kidnapped us. You don't mean that guy who offered us a ride, do you? The last person we saw, wasn't it? Who else could have done it? He had the perfect opportunity. But no, everybody decided to get in the fucking van, didn't they? See, this is how horror movies are created. He looks like us! He looks like he came from our school! As much as I want to agree, anyone could have brought our school logo merchandise and pretended to be a student. Wait! Do you think he had something to do with my car being out of gas? I don't know. Maybe you went gallivanting drunkenly. I don't know. You know what? He probably did if we were his targets. Yeah, probably. I still don't understand. Why us? Uh, probably because of your boobs. Probably because of your snarky attitude and he just wants to get revenge. Xavier, maybe you're just fun to dick with. So is Peter. Yeah, if this guy wanted to kidnap someone, it would be much harder to get a group all at once. Why all of us? Because he's some freak of nature. It doesn't matter why, okay? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out! We can't, though. That door seems to be our only way out and it's apparently locked from the other side. That can't be true. Let's split up and try to find another way out. You know, Lisa could be right. Let's just try and find another way out and see what happens. I still think that the door is our only way out. Xavier's right. We can't be sure until we check. All right, let's just spread out and see what we can find. The entire place gives me the creeps. Like this was built specifically for us. Um... Go check out Xavier, because I like Xavier. If this place couldn't get any creepier. Hmm? What do you mean? Think about it, Chris. All five of us are trapped in some sort of bunker, and the only exit is this laser protected door. We are being kept here for a specific reason. Mm -hmm. What reason could it be? I'm trying to think, but I can't even imagine why. This is all just too weird. What kind of reason would any kidnapper have to kidnap a group of people? Unless. 
It's like one of those freaky horror movies where a group of unsuspecting teens are going to be tortured and killed or something. Now things are getting really scary. Hey. What? You don't think that we're going to be killed or something, do you? Go ahead, say something. I can't say no, you nutcase. But if the kidnapper wanted us dead, then he would have killed us already. This is true. What about torturing us? Maybe. Uh, guys? Huh? What is it? Look. TV is on, but what is that? Good morning, little insects. Okay. Insects? What the hell? Did you enjoy your ride? Your comfy beds? Oh, I truly hope so. Whoever you are, let us out! No, oh, I can't do that. Not yet, at least. Not yet? What do you mean? My, my, so many questions. And you haven't answered any of them. Why the hell should we answer you? You trapped us in here! <laughs> you were gullible enough to take the fan ride. For good reason. However, there is no excuse for bad manners. So, did you all enjoy your ride here? Oh, no, I don't remember it. Huh. Well, I expected one of you to at least have an answer. Don't flatter yourself. Not even you, Chris. The brilliant monarch butterfly. Monarch Butterfly? Now we have pet names? Of course. All of you have wonderful little nicknames. They match you perfectly, I assure you. You're creepy. That is messed up. That tells us one thing, though. What are you talking about? This free kidnapper knows us personally. If we all have pet names that match us, then they have to know us and target us specifically. So this wasn't a convenient group kidnapping. If you seriously thought this whole thing was convenience, I will bitch slap you. Thank you, Xavier. But why us, though? It's for a good reason. I promise. There is no good reason for kidnapping people! Yeah, at least he's got a point for once. Are you sure? There are many benefits to kidnapping someone. Like what? Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Opportunity? Yes, this is the perfect chance for the truth to be revealed. The truth? What truth? I'll say this. A couple of you have been very, very naughty and don't deserve to be alive right now. Oh, okay. What the hell? Don't deserve to be alive? Oh, was that too scary of me? I'm such a silly bird. Himself a bird. This is nuts. If you know the truth, then why not tell us? Where's the fun in just giving out answers? And then you don't have to need to ask questions. That's yeah. How does walking us in here get people to confess? There are five of you. With everyone in such close proximity, it would be very hard to hide secrets like the truth of the past. All right. If anyone's got anything to confess, spit it out. Really, Peter? Yeah, fucking really. Oh, Peter. If only it were that simple. Of course, I had already taken into consideration that the truth would remain persistently hidden, despite the environment. After all, the truth is so terrible. The ones who know it would never want it to be revealed. You're making no sense. Do you want us to find out the truth or not? Yes and no. Oh, I do. I very much want you all to know the truth. That's why I've taken some extra measures. Extra measures? Allow me to ask you this. How did you all become friends? That's easy. We... We... How did we become friends? I can't remember. Huh? How could we forget? Why can't we remember how we became friends? <laughs> I've always been so curious what Alter Propanolo can do to the human mind. Rude. What did you do to us? 
Nothing terrible. I simply locked away your long-term memories with a little sedative. You can't remember anything past the abduction, can you? Nope. Propanol. You made a beta blocker sedative for drug-induced amnesia. Very good, Rosa. As expected from a medical student. I'm surprised you know all of that, despite the medication. Why would you do that? Because he's a dick. So many questions! Can't everything be solved on your own? After all, Xavier, you are supposedly the smart one. Oh, rude. I will break this TV! <laughs> I wouldn't suggest doing that. Unless, of course, you're a masochist for electricity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. The squirming. The anger. Oh, it brings back so many memories. Oh, how are we gonna find out the truth if you blocked it from us? What the... Could try to fade away? I don't oh, know. Don't panic so quickly. The effects are temporary. I gave everyone. Oh, I would say a week. Maybe two. So we have to stay here until we remember? Think of it like a treasure hunt. All of you can talk for scavenger hunt. in the chests of your memories. And all of you will find out the truth. The truth? Can't handle the truth! Make sure you all work hard to find that truth. You'll be stuck here until you do. Okay. This person. Where are they? Well, I should be specific. Make sure you work hard to find the truth. Chris. What? Me? You are very special, Chris. I cannot wait until the truth is revealed. What will you do, I wonder? You're insane. Yep. Time. The first game is about to begin. Huh? Game? What do you mean? Your special game! Does your generation not enjoy games anymore? That's disappointing. After all of the trouble I went through to make this a fun experience. Oh yeah, so fucking fun. There's nothing fun about being drugged and kidnapped. Regardless, Rosa, Lisa, Xavier and Peter, please make your way to the platform and line up on the red circles. Why the hell should we? Lisa, let's just go. Why? Because you're going to get bitch shocked, that's why. Lisa, he can electrocute us. Thank you, Rosa. Maybe Rosa should be named the smartest one. Then again, Lisa, you are always dim when it came to details. Burn! Excuse me? No, just, just, just go. Lisa! Just start walking. Yep, just start walking. Now, Chris, you get to use the console. Oh, fun. Me? What am I using it for? You'll see. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Remember, Remember. And the last time that we ended the episode, we were about to do something for the masked guy. And I also have a special guest with me today. Ew. Excuse me. So, let's get back to where we were. You'll see. All right, we're here. Now what? My my so anxious. How about I ease your minds with a little story? How about we just get into what we're supposed to do? Seriously? Yeah, see, this is why I like Xavier. Seriously? Because he and I are on the same wavelength. The tragic tale of a beautiful butterfly. Once there was a butterfly that wandered too far from its home. It was a gorgeous butterfly indeed. But little did it know, an evil bird was trailing it. Hoping to rip apart its wings for fun. 
rude. What kind of messed up story is that? Do you all like that? No, don't. That's it. Just <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all I'll share for now. Can't give away too much of the story at once. You can try. You can at least try. You're a lunatic! Do you hear me? You're a lunatic! Calm down, Lisa. Call me whatever you like, little insect. It doesn't change the fact that you are trapped in my nest. Alright, what are we doing? What the hell? <laughs> hey! Let us out! Guys! What is this? Obviously, you're in a tube. <laughs> you gonna get probed! Welcome to your first charge, Monarch Butterfly. Your goal is simple. Save your friends from a nasty little uh... Let them out! Now! Oh, only you can do that, Chris. <laughs> the ball is in your court. Will you save them? Or leave them to die? If I leave them to die, can I go? I don't know, I don't really like Lisa, <laughs> to be honest. Chris, just do what he says! Please, save us! No. What kind of fucked up game is this? It's, it's Saw, anime style. What the fuck is going on? I, I just said. Guys, look down! Oh god. Ah, water! <laughs> <laughs> the voice acting is superb in this. Actually, it really is compared to, you know, like, other games. It's actually pretty nice. At least it's not, like, blood or something. Yeah, but water... What? If she gets wet, will she melt? Maybe. What the? The tubes are filling up with water? <laughs> Rosa! <laughs> you better hurry! Those tubes are sealed tightly, and will fill completely with water, if you don't rescue them all in time. Mm. I have no choice. Damn it! Well, you know, we could just let them die. I'll save you guys! Don't worry! You did not hear what I just said. Oh, this is beyond exciting. <laughs> well then, shall we begin? I guess. If I don't save them, they'll drown in those tubes. I have to keep my calm and get through this. Oh boy, I'm gonna hold on to the keyboard just in case if I gotta do something. Oh, excuse me. Still, I have to play that little kid game to save them? Guess it makes sense. Just from, from the, wait, butterflies? Oh, fuck. I want to save you, I want to save- OH FUCK! I want to save Xavier. Where's Xavier at? No, I don't care about you, I want Xavier- Ah, you motherfucker! Do I have like... Different- Oh god dang it! You don't see- Oh, I have a time limit. I went the wrong way. I don't like this. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God. I got Xavier. <laughs> as long as I got Xavier, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, Yay! Oh, got everybody. Thanks, Chris. Xavier is my boyfriend. You've been birthed. Guys! Yay! Thank you, Chris! Thank you! Yeah, you go did ahead. it, man! Yay! Holy shit! I did it! Well done, Monarch! Perhaps you are the person she imagined you to be. I'm creepy, you know that? Huh? She? She? What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Did my medicine really erase that much of your memory? He gave them a sedat. The sedative that gave them drug-induced amnesia. What are you talking about? 
He's just being psycho again. Just ignore him. I like Xavier. I'm curious of the reaction this will cause. So I will share a little secret. What? What secret? Why do I feel uneasy? Because he's about to share something of yours? Chris, tell us. Do you remember a girl named Sarah? I guess that's my sister. <laughs> An Amber Alert has just been released for eight-year-old Sarah Meyer. How could we have lost her? We'll do what we can to find her, ma'am. Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> so you do remember her. Sarah? Who is Sarah? I think I remember her. Yeah. Isn't she... My little sister! She went missing years ago, and there's been no sign of her. Wait, you have a little sister? The medicine seems to be affecting each of you differently. Interesting. Wait, what happened to your sister? <laughs> then <Didn't> wait. <laughs> Maybe I should let you all figure that out yourselves. You sick fuck! It was you who took her, wasn't it? That's why you're doing this. Where is she? With the things behind you. Ah, if I told you, then you would play my little game. Besides, I'm not the only one who knows what happened to her. What? The fuck are you going on about? What? Someone else knows what happened to her? Consider this a gift, Chris. You'll find her to discover the truth about the disappearance of your sister. A truth that was hidden beneath your very nose. Unless she buried in the backyard. His mustache. <laughs> I truly hope you all enjoy your stay. May you all find the truth of Sarah's disappearance together. <laughs> He's got a good voice actor for the mask, though. I like how he got all shady. Find the truth together. That means one or more of my friends knows what happened to Sarah, and they've been hiding the truth from me for years. I think you know what happened to her. So the kidnapper got us all in here so that I could finally learn what happened. I don't know whether to be horrified or gratified. Regardless, this is my chance what happened to Sarah. To be continued! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, good night. <laughs> it's a demo! No! Oh. oh this makes me angry because I'm actually emotionally involved in this game now. That's okay. Well, all right. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll find another horror game to play on Fridays that will hopefully be more than one episode. I was hoping that would be a lot longer because that looked really. It still looks really awesome because I want. I want to actually continue to play this game. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>